Hey everybody, it's the Popstar Champ here, kind of having some technical difficulties, but I think I got my setup to try and see if I can record my audio with this direct that's going to happen in about zero seconds, so let's see what they have in store for us. Let me make sure I have a good volume. Okay. Still struggling, I see. Understandable. Ooh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Oh, here comes the DLC. I think. Just trying to ask around. No one knows. I'm not sure, but I wonder if they changed his voice actor. Not that I painted it before, I'm just wondering if they changed it after the feedback. Oh, no way. I can't believe this. Wait, is it just her? And you know who else? This is unbelievable. Mode change. I can't believe it's just those two, not Rex. I kind of feel bad for him. Well, it's like a dodge counter. Oh, there he is. Oh, this is hilarious. I can't believe he's basically well gone. Oh, well.
That's insane. I didn't think they had a chance at this point. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. But it sure I've has. 500 days. From Nintendo. Plus. Last year, we delivered some news for a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. You know, I was interested in Rick's One Upon Once Upon a Time, and I don't really mind okay. him now either. Just I just wish that I like stayed excited for him all this time. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicle series as Rex's two in one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh, hey, look, Fall Guys. I think it's a pretty good fit for the Switch, in all honesty. I was even like, listening to some other stuff recently about how it might be a good, like, get for the Switch. I think it will work pretty well. Hopefully it'll give it another burst of popularity to the counter pull off, but I think it's gonna come back with this hopefully. I never really played this game myself, but if I can get to it eventually I might see if I can give it a whirl. Solar system is destroyed. Intense. Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. Weird. I wonder how that works. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information gathered. Right, that makes sense. Unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why Stop supper all. Trapped in an endless timeline. Find out in the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind, two deep cuts from Nintendo history, are coming to North America for the first time. Yeah, I've never heard of these. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. Hmm. But that's not the only case to crack. In the other case, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? Oh, so the speech is still in Japanese. Weird. Just now occurred to me. Uncover the deadly truth in Bandicom Detective Club The Missing Air and Bandicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I guess I'll see soon, but I wonder how much they cost. I don't know, I get it, but I'm wondering how it'll work. Begins. Wondering how much it'll like, attract people to that kind of thing.
This kind of looks like a Warriors game, if I'm not mistaken. Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Is that like the Warriors thing I'm thinking of, or is this something else? Yeah, it's a Warriors game, or Warriors series that I'm thinking of. Interesting. Yeah, I quit took when I was doing a lot of these recently. The vast world of Fadio beckons. After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, I've heard of this game, but I've never played it or had like a good look at it. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. Hmm. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Interesting. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. Music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch, June 24th. Yes, I'm recording. I'm recording. I'm recording. You're fine. Right, sorry about that, I had to go take care of something real quick. So this is more Monster Hunter, and this is looking like a pretty good uh, multiplayer game. Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to get my thoughts back together since I'm suddenly back in. Sorry about that, let me turn off that noise. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? 
Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Next, please take a look at this. Oh, look, Mario Golf. Super Rush. Take your time to think things through. Then swing. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. Yeah, I thought it looked pretty good. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Nice. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game, letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf. In the world. Speed golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then go race through the course to reach your ball. Oh, Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Special your moves. Skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention story mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. I know this then, is better than Ace's story mode. It wasn't really that bad, but it was just kind of whatever. You develop your character however you like. You can also use your me in versus play. Cut your golfing and as usual, you'll use a limo with no cute Rush. outfit. Oh well. Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. Speaking of which, is it online? It better have online. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Now for our Russian games. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion Lackey, Reese, and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes, filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch. March 24th. 32 of Capcom I never really like completed a Borderlands game myself. I always played it at my friend's house, but it's pretty interesting. I wonder how this uh, story mode one will work. Get 1943's A Battle of Midway for free. Then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. Cool. Brains. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of them. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal with sputum heads, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. Jeez. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Dubs the zombie and rebel without a pulse. Keep your way on Nintendo Switch on March 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Looks hilarious. It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. As the crass, beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. Hey, hey, 
say, hey, not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it all makes sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Nintendo Switch, August 27th. That's a little while from now, and past the first half of the year. Exterminate demons in he heaven? You know, like you do. As above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? Someone's dirty work. That's yeah, like a running gun of some kind. Well, that's pretty wacky. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. Yeah, we all figured this first half of the year announcement is kind of just a loose interpretation. Are here to save the day. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. A.K.A. Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has deep vision. Super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super light. We also have our school lives, and trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Sometimes yeah, I don't know how much to say about this one. It's just kind of whatever. Supergirl Girls Team Power heroically soars onto Nintendo Switch June 4th. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. This almost looks like the realistic plan for the zombies. Wait, it is the plan for the zombies. I was right. I think. Yeah, it's definitely that thing. Garden Warfare, I think. Or that. Well, I wonder, because I thought it looked familiar, but is this like something brand new that they're making, or is this like a port, not port, like a, yeah, like a port over to the Switch, like from other consoles, I can't remember. I don't really like look at this old, like more PBZ stuff, I only just like kind of saw it randomly. Oh yeah, complete edition, so it must have been a thing some other time. But I'm still wondering if I got confused with something else. Who will join you in your adventure? If anyone can. Band together on a quest to face evil. Oh, wow, it's this game. Face it. is coming to Nintendo Switch. Cast new characters in various roles across the kingdom. 
turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. The Eel Stam. Added as a new feature in this game. Clam up your meats and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your meat creations and make them even more fabulous. In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. I feel like I remember Since I was going to get this game one time, but then I kind of got talked out of it bonds. somehow. When we got talked out of it, just kind of like de enthused. <laughs> Not really sure if I'll get it this time either, but who knows? If I get some extra cash at some point, I might try it. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty darn good! Care for it, and it'll lend a hand or poof in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp Metopia, coming to Nintendo Switch May 21st. Hey, one day after my birthday. Today on Nintendo Asia. <laughs> Super Mario themed items are coming to your island. So on 24 minutes left. Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in-game as furniture items. So place them however and wherever you'd like. You can also place two warp pipes. Then use them to travel between locations on your island. Nice. I haven't really played this game. That looks cool. Why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? A free update for the game launches February 25th. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D Ooh, is something new here? Bowser's Fury game. I hope I'm being loud enough for you guys and kind of a little well. quiet because it's kind of new to this. Next, we have another game to show you. This reminds me of Octopath. It's a small Octopath. Nah, this has got to be something different. He leaves us no recourse. Sword. Next, S. Frost will answer for its crime today. Are these the wages of loyalty? Raised earth and burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. Yeah, this definitely is an octopath, but it looks kind of in like the same vein. Far away lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. Though the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remain. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A 
character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be oh, hey, it's Mario plus by attacking rabbits. from higher ground with long-range weapons such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a Is this actually like, I know it's not like Mario plus rabbits, I know that's not like what created that system, but is this like kind of like grid-based movement battle system in 3D and stuff? into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. That's cool. It is of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield before taking action. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Once more, I would ask you plainly, do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You I wonder how many sections and is. routes there are. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, will launch in 2022. Please be on the lookout well, the way for next more year. information in the future. After this presentation, a demo version of this game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. Cool, I'm gonna try that. We'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to hearing your responses on the demo. I'm also pretty interested in that, I'm not gonna lie. Please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. A few more. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Oh, I thought this looked like Star Wars. Okay, Star Wars Hunters is a competitive, free-to-play online game set between Episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Mm. Corgan loves battle. Corgan used many weapons. Triple bladed war axe, spear of misery, eighty soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work? Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once. Just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass! <laughs> Look, it's simple. Gorgon want new weapon! In Knockout City, I'm like a Kung Fu master. I can catch bullets! <laughs> I'm getting some! Now I'm getting the Flat Fresh with Ninjala, which I also like. Wait, is this Dodgeball? Weird. Up, your Eat this. Oh, no. Can't believe we're losing to a bunch of dairy farmers. 
Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? Not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war show, not a bloody fashion show. Also, the day after my birthday, I wonder how much it costs, because I'm also kind of interested in that, too. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight, because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. The one behind the whole game of fate! As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in Wolves End Club. Venturing onto Nintendo Switch. The world ends with your club. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. Okay. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards, is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood-pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous Supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. I'm sure this would be pretty cool. I never tried this game, but it definitely did get, like, way out there. of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Well, he doesn't go away by March 1st. Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos, and team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection is licensed its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Here we go with some DLC. I wonder if we have any other Zelda stuff happening here today. Expand roster, new weapons. Hmm. Got to look back at that. I didn't get all that fast enough. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. About 10 minutes left. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. 
veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. Cool. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes oh yeah, I thought that was good, like a remake Brave or something. Knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Barry for defense, Carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Pathfinder skin and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Cool. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Not Ride bad. Fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct. Okay. So we hope you'll stick with us. Next, please take a look at this. This is going to be another big one. Let's see where it is. Hello, oh, here we go. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Oh, dang it. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Well, I got duped. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. This one. Skyward Sword. I've never played any Zelda except for Breath of the Wild because I just never got into it, but... I wonder how this will pan out with the new controls and stuff. just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. I take it on. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. Is that going to be forced on you? I mean, I don't really mind that, but... right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions, like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, to yeah it had to be for that. Play elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Swing to the right, to the left, 
or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. That's a pretty big, a pretty big action for just a stick. Specially designed oh, nice. Joy-Con controllers. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I like Legend that. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. See, it's finally starting to get packed that we can Nintendo see ahead of time. be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ram, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. We'll see. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. Kirby. Not happening. Yeah, it's definitely it's not Kirby, at least, so I know what to expect. <sighs> The Eiffel Tower upside down, and an archer weapon. Yeah, it's a train again from Octo Expansion. Where are they going with this? So it's not like an in-between between these different places that they have those hub worlds, because... Otherwise, it's pretty futuristic. I don't remember seeing something so drab, but no, this place looks more excited. Or oh, wait, I think I have an idea. Splatoon 3! Wow, what's this gonna look like? Snipers, bazookas. Grab some. I wonder when this one's coming out. Ah, uh, next year. Yeah, that sounds fair.
That's pretty sweet. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Maybe we'll see something around need to be time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Okay, that was pretty cool. I don't sound too enthused, but I don't think that was too bad. I'll probably have more thoughts on this later, and maybe you can check out my Twitter if you want to get my more in-depth thoughts before I record anything else. But thank you for listening with me and my comments. I'll see you next time.